These are the best MW3 and Warzone settings for maximum FPS and the least amount of input delay. I'm also going to show you the best tweaks which you can apply on your PC straight up to get the best performance possible. So guys, these are now the best graphics settings for MW3. In the first place, always make sure that you actually select full screen exclusive, guys. This one will give you the least amount of input delay. Then of course, make sure to select your monitor, put your screen refresh rate to the highest possible, which for me is 360Hz, then display resolution to whatever you guys are playing on, but most of you are going to be playing on 1920x1080. If you have anything higher than 60 or 75Hz, always make sure that vsync is turned off. Then for a custom frame rate limit, this one leave on unlimited, because actually the higher your FPS are, the less input delay you're going to get. Even if you're playing on 144Hz, having 200, 300 FPS is still going to reduce your input delay even more. Then for display gamma, guys, I only change actually brightness here. This one I have on 70%, since this game is a little bit darker, and focus mode on off, and Nvidia reflex low latency on on plus boost if your GPU does support it. This will help you a lot with input delay. Then over to quality, guys. Then under quality preset, you're just going to leave it on the standard one, since we anyways going to change it. Rendering resolution resolution to 100%, dynamic resolution off. This one is kind of nice because if you give a target FPS of 120 FPS, it's actually going to lower your 3D resolution in order to keep those FPS, so therefore try it out yourself. Upscaling and sharpening right now I have on off, guys. I know some of these here might work already pretty good, but we all know Call of Duty, especially when it comes out, this one doesn't work too well, so therefore keep it on off as of right now. Other than that, I can highly recommend you NVIDIA DLSS. Then for anti-aliasing, I have it on Filmic SMA T2X, and this one I have here under anti-aliasing quality set to normal. So we still get a nice sweet spot between performance and quality. Then VRAM scaling target, I just simply keep on the highest possible which your GPU can offer. Variable shading I have on off since it's just simply like a small quality aspect. Texture resolution I also have on very low since I don't really care about it too much guys. Texture filtering anti-strophic I have on normal. Depth of field off. These are like small details around your guns or stuff like that object. Detail quality level on low. Particle resolution on very low. Explosions, flares, all of these here. Bullet impact I have actually on on since it can sometimes tell you from where enemies are shooting at you. If you don't care about it, of course turn it off as well. Here again guys we have persistent effects. This is one maybe explosive explodes on a nearby wall or on the ground you know. So it actually showcases that in the map itself. The revolution basically. This one I have on off as well. Shader quality on medium, since of course sometimes having shadows can help you or give you a competitive advantage. If you want to go for the maximum FPS, of course put it too low. Then on demand texture streaming I have on off. Local texture stream quality on low of course, since it's anyways turned off. Shadow quality itself on normal, again guys, can give you a small competitive advantage. If you don't care about it, put it too low. Screen space shadows as well on off. Ambient occlusion makes the shadows a little bit more softer around the edges, so therefore it's pretty hardware demanding, I just simply keep it on off. Screen space reflections are basically reflections of specific surface. Don't really care about it. Again, a visual, keep it on off. Static reflection quality, same thing on low. And now for the environment, guys. Tessellation, you actually have to keep on near. If you have it on off, objects, especially around you super close, are gonna look weird or maybe render in late. Terrain memory, you're gonna keep on max. Volumetric quality on low. Third physics quality on off. Weather grid volumes on off. Again, guys, these are small visual upgrades. Don't really care about it. And the water quality on default. Then make sure to apply all of these here. Go under view. And my field of view as of right now is 120, since you can see a lot more. And in the first place, guys, we going to take a look at the Chris Titus Ultimative Windows Tech Utility, which is going to help us to depot our whole entire system and basically remove all of the unwanted applications and software, which are somehow slowing down our system, giving us worse performance while gaming. All you guys gotta do is click on the link in the description and then make sure to head over here and copy the following code. Once you get it, go into your Windows search bar and type in the actually PowerShell until you can find the Windows PowerShell, right click onto it and run it as an administrator. Once it's now open up here, guys, you're going to paste the following command in there and press enter real quick for it to load. It's only going to take a few seconds and then you can already see the Chris Titus Tech Windows Utility. Over the PowerShell, you can always make sure to have the latest version, guys, which just has been updated a few weeks ago. And what we want to do is go over to Tweaks, guys, and in here now we have Desktop, Laptop, Minimal, and Clear. So therefore, if you want to revert all of these tweaks, it's super easy, guys, by just simply going under Clear. So therefore, depending on your current system, guys, if you're on a desktop PC, you can select Desktop. If you're on a laptop, Laptop, obviously. And if you only want to tweak the bare minimum, you can click under Minimal. It also tells you straight up what everything does while just simply hovering over it, something like Disabled telemetry, which disables Microsoft telemetry, which is actually a mode built in by Windows to actively send data from your PC to Microsoft. They use it maybe for crash debugging when applications crash or some stuff like that, but we don't really care about it. So therefore, I would simply recommend you to click under desktop. And additionally to that, you can even remove your now Microsoft Edge, remove OneDrive, and as well disable mouse acceleration, which is super important, guys, because mouse acceleration makes your mouse super wobbly and not precise. Then just simply click under run tweaks real quick. It's also creating system restore point for you, so you don't have to worry about anything. And then it's going to apply all of these tweaks here real quick in the background, something like removing OneDrive now. And once it's actually done, it's going to say here now, tweaks are finished, click under OK, and you can close all of these here. All of the tools which I'm about to show you in today's video, you can find in the video description, which are all going to help us to get the best performance here in MW3. 
in the first place let's open a process lasso and once the tool is open up guys you're gonna click under main then we can see in here now active power profile and i want you to select bit some highest performance one guys this one is going to make sure that none of your cores are actually parked so that we have the full cpu power for mw3 once you're done we're going to click again under main and then we can see now performance mode enabled click onto it as well and then we're already good to go all you guys can do from here on is now go into your windows search bar type in that power until we can see edit power plan once we're in here we gotta make sure the bit some highest performance one is still enabled and then we're gonna click on the change advanced power settings and once we're in here we're going to make sure to select the bit some highest performance one as well and scroll down a little bit until we can see processor power management where we're going to have a bunch of options something like processor performance core parking minimum cores what we're gonna do is put this one to 100% to avoid having any park cores then we have minimum processor state this one should be as well on 100% processor performance core parking over utilization should be on 100% as well system cooling policy should be on active and finally maximum processor state on 100% too once you have all of these here checked guys you're going to click under ok then we're going to continue with the msi utility version 3 right click onto it and make sure to run it as administrator once we're now in this tool guys once we're now in this tool what you gotta do is find your gpu for me it's the nvidia geforce rtx 3070 ti and what we gotta do is make sure that it says under supported modes msi guys this has nothing to do with the brand itself this is basically a mode which helps your cpu and gpu to communicate faster resulting in better performance in games and as well less input delay so therefore what you want to make sure to do is next to your gpu there should be this msi category where you want to check the box then you're also going to go into interrupt priority and make sure to put this one here actually to normal guys once we're done with all of these here we're going to click under apply and then we're already good to go and can close the tool next up guys we have the nvidia profile inspector why i actually prefer this version is guys because we have so many more options than the normal nvidia control panel as you can see already once i browse through it there are so many more settings which you can apply and actually over on discord.gg slash straps guys in the performance packs channel which you can by the way also find you on the top right just somebody type in the performance and then you can see performance packs we know you have our high performance profile which you can get straight up from here from the discord guys just simply click onto it low input latency profile and once you get it on your pc it should look exactly like this here it's usually going to be in a raw file so therefore you need maybe winrar to open it up and then we gotta go back here into our nvidia profile inspector make sure it's set to global driver profile base profile and yeah currently here i actually applied all of the best settings for the best performance on any pc and least amount of input delay all you guys gotta do is actually click here now under import user defined profile click under input profile and then we know you have low input latency profile just make sure that it's selected and click under open and then we can now here see guys profile successfully imported click under ok and go and apply changes and then you're already good to go this profile is optimized to really utilize the maximum performance out of your gpu and basically all games guys so therefore it doesn't matter whatever you guys want to play if it's mw3 or the new warzone mode you're straight up going to have the least amount of latency and the best performance possible as a quick extra step now guys we're also going to launch malware bytes and once you have the tool installed guys this is by far the best tool to remove malware or spyware from your PC. All you guys gotta do is re quick click here under scan and then you can see it's basically scanning your whole entire PC for interrupted files, registry entries which are maybe messed up and then you can see it's basically scanning your whole entire PC for missing updates, scanning your memory and even your system for interrupted files so therefore just simply let it run in the background guys and you're already chilling. And then guys we're also going to utilize the GR booster which is the number one tool to reduce your ping in basically any games guys especially if you may be struggling with latency in Warzone or MW3. You can try it out for absolutely free with the link in the description guys and whenever I want to play one of my favorite games guys no matter what it is I just simply have to select it. The GR Booster is automatically going to search for the best DNS servers in my near for the least amount of latency. As you can see currently I would only have 6 milliseconds latency which is super low guys an improvement of almost 300%. It's going to actively in the background search for the best DNS servers for no matter which games you guys are trying to play so therefore I can highly recommend it to you guys. It's also by the way checking the connection between your PC and the router and the the router and the actual game server always providing you with the least amount of ping so therefore just simply let it run in the background and then you can enjoy playing mw3 with zero lags 